Anyway, guys, this is so strange that I got a puppy today. I, I'm very happy, you know, that I have a, a, a new dog, but it wasn't supposed to be this way. You know, I, I thought that Flex would be around until he was 15 and that he would die from natural causes because I thought I was such a good owner that there would be no disease I would kill him. You know, I would make, I would take care of him and spend whatever I had to to, to, to fix him, but that wasn't the case. What, what makes me, I think, the most heartbroken about Flex's passing, on top of it being so sudden, was to me, it, I perceived it as being sudden, but to him, he probably was sick for weeks. And he was so good at dealing with his pain and masking his pain that I didn't think a vet visit was urgent, you know? And that to me is heartbreaking that my son was in pain and he didn't complain and he was quiet. And uh, my dad said, because he was a, a service working dog, he put his head down and he went to work every day for me. My dad also said that when Flex and Raindrop got tick fever in Thailand, you know, in, in a weird way, the tick that bit them, you know, didn't bite me. And so in some ways they, they took one for the team and they protected their master like they're supposed to do. And if that's what happened, I know Flex would, was happy doing it because that's what good dogs do. Anyway, guys, um, I'm going to be dealing with this pain for a long time. But as I told my dad, <clears throat> and as I tell a lot of people, the most important part to being healthy is you got to start somewhere. And I've always said that you got to start with physical health because physical health is the easiest type of health to get. You know, you you eat better foods, you drink a lot of water, you exercise, you're going to be relatively healthy. And when you have a healthy body, you can then pursue having a healthy mind, in my opinion. And so for me, even though it's only been 24 hours, not having flex, my, my left hand didn't know what to do. It felt empty and lonely. And I felt physically unbalanced and my equilibrium was off. And I felt disoriented. So Getting Cloud today, in honor of Flex, has given me a sense of balance. It's at least physically made me feel like my hand is back. My heart, I got to deal with that for a long time. Um, but now I can start going on to the healing process of the heart and of the mind. But physically, I, uh, I feel whole again, which is great. And this little girl, Cloud, she hit the fucking jackpot today, guys. When I walked into that place today and I chose her she has no idea how good she has it and I told her I said Cloud you hit the damn jackpot girl you are so lucky so um, she'll have an Instagram I don't know what it'll be but you'll find the link in the description here so you can follow her her journey and um, yeah you know I'm excited for that but man this is uh, completely unexpected who thought I'd be vlogging with a, with, a, with a different dog than Flex. I didn't think I'd be, be doing this. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for listening. You know, I, I, I'm crying. I'm not going to apologize for it because people need to see the reality of these situations. I don't think there's a lot of resources. You know, actually, I Googled and I YouTubed dealing with a pet loss when Flex passed away and, and grieving. And there really wasn't any raw content like this. You know, most people are experts writing about it or they're dog parents that have gone through it before and, you know, now can talk about it. But nobody sees the, the raw experience of losing, you know, your best friend. And to us in America, we look at our pets as kids, you know, small kids that don't live long. But to me, Flex was my son. And, uh, and in a lot of ways, I uh, feel like I failed him. I mean, I showed him an amazing life, but I also failed him at the end. And that's the part that's breaking me apart. And it's killing me to know that his protector couldn't protect him at the end. You know, if he died at 14 again, I'd be okay with that. But seven years old? Man. Anyway, guys, I look forward to getting the autopsy, the uh, ne necropsy, they call it, to find out what the cause was. And if it was tick fever, I swear to God, I hope that goddamn tick is burning in hell. I know it's the circle of life and I know it's mother nature. And that tick was just trying to survive like we are as people, like they are as dogs. But goddamn, that tick, he bit a service dog, he bit a special dog, he bit a good dog. 
You know, you put a dog with an owner that cared so much. And to me, there's so many street dogs in Thailand, not to say that any dog is better than other dogs, but to bite a dog that has, you know, a family, it just goes to show you how random this life is, how random this planet is and how unfair everything is. So anyway, guys, you'll be meeting Cloud now in the next couple of vlogs. She can't really walk yet, so she'll be in the backpack uh, for the next couple months. Um, and uh, she's a little too small for Flex's service dog vest, but she's got some big shoes to fill. And uh, I think I think she's going to fill them um, eventually and, you know, develop the skills that Flex had to assist me. Um, all right, guys, I got to go train this dog and be free my sheep.